Nigeria's First Lady Aisha Buhari has again pledged to continue her work with the United Nations Population Fund, UNFPA, towards advancing the cause of women, girls and children. The First Lady stated this when she granted audience to the Executive Director of UNFPA, Natalia Kanem, State House Correspondent Aliu Kabir reports. Even the executive director of the UNFPA, Natalia Kanem, and other members of her delegation, the first lady of Nigeria, Aisha Buhari, told her guests that for the past six years, Future Assured Program under the Aisha Buhari Foundation have been engaged in a strategic partnership with the United Nations Population Fund through the UNFPA Nigeria Country Office towards advancing reproductive, maternal, newborn, child and adolescent health as well as nutrition. While acknowledging the successes recorded, the first lady said more needs to be done, particularly in the areas of gender-based violence and girl-child education among others. For the past six years, I've worked through my Future Assured program to advance the course of women, girls, children in Nigeria across our key priority intervention areas of health, zero tolerance of female genital mutilation and all forms of gender-based violence, in women and youth empowerment, education and private sector engagement. Although a lot has been achieved, however, more needs to be done, especially in areas to do with broader social and economic determinants of health. The long-standing partnership and collaboration that we've enjoyed with the Office of the Wife of the President on the implementation, in particular, of your Future Assured program has been really important in terms of the strategic role that you play in your uh, intention to assure that we can bridge gaps and deliver comprehensive quality reproductive maternal, newborn, child, adolescent health and nutrition services through this future assured program. The visit of the executive director of the UNFPA is part of the 16 days activism against gender-based violence. From the State House, Ali Kabir, NBA News.